Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at and compare footage shot on a phone to footage shot on a cinema camera. Now I know what you're thinking, that's not a fair comparison. The cinema camera would probably always outshine the phone. Cinema camera has a better sensor, better stops of dynamic range, better contrast, better color science. But I was surprised that in a few instances, the phone gave me what I needed for this job. And dare I say, did a little bit of a better job than the cinema camera did. I was away this weekend shooting uh, several different projects. One of them was for a client. And uh, in this particular situation, we were in a building that he's renovating. It's under construction, so we don't have lights in the building. We're also going from a bright storefront to the back of the building that's very dark. And I needed that flexibility. We were gonna have to put the camera on a gimbal. I was using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro on the DJI Ronin RS3 Pro. And as a backup, I brought my iPhone 13, put it on the Zion. Let's first take a look at the footage and see if you can tell which is which. And then I'll play that footage back and let you know which footage belongs to which camera. This is a uh, uh, building in downtown Shemokin, Independence Street, Shemokin. Uh, it was built in 1901. Still quite a bit of stuff to be removed and cleaned up. We're getting there, but this will be reserved. And reserve the other side for the hotel lobby uh, for the uh, proposed hotel at this site. Yeah, so you can see a lot of the stuff left over from the hardware store that we're in the process of cleaning out. The look of the cinema camera is better. You know, for this sake, it's run and gun. We want to be able to see where it particularly shines is when he goes all the way into the back and I do a wrap around shot on him and you can see in the background this sort of loading dock. To me, that's where the phone does the better job. I don't have autofocus on the Blackmagic. It's a cinema camera. There is a focus ring on the gimbal but the way I was holding it, I didn't. it wasn't easy to do. And also shifting focus from him to the background became a little bit difficult. So that's another area where the phone did the better job because I just needed that focus to stay. I didn't care if it opened up the aperture. I didn't care if the focus was shifting. We wanted to be able to see what was happening in the room. In this shot, I had him stand in front of a window so that he was well lit and I got a nice depth of field behind him. I just kind of stayed on him. So here's an instance where the cinema camera does the better job. The key to this experiment is we always had the professional audio playing. So whether you're looking at footage from the Black Magic or footage from the phone, he's wearing a lavalier mic and that's to me what makes it stand out we're more likely to forgive poor video quality than we are poor audio. So throughout this whole thing, the audio quality stays the same. It's really clean, it's really good audio. I wouldn't use the phone for a sit down interview situation. So it really served its purpose with this. Because if I only did the cinema camera in those rooms that were too dark, then I, I lose that. I don't have that footage to show and switching over to the phone, I think it's gonna work. I know it's gonna work because we have the professional audio and, and they just wanna see the building. If you have hundreds of dollars worth of tools, sometimes a flathead screwdriver or a hammer is gonna get the job done. And for me, using the phone in this instance got the job done for me. That's what's most important. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think of the footage? What do you do when you're in low light situations like this? And to everyone who's been subscribing and commenting, thank you so much. It really means a lot to hear from everyone. And if you've made it this far, it also means a lot to me. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you so much. I'm Matt Spade, and I'll see you in the next video.